All right, first off, I want to say Kal Halal, Yeho, Ba Shem, Yeho Shai, Ba Shem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers in the highways and byways, doing this work in all sincerity and in all honesty. Sisters, the believers, it helps. Shalom. Now, this is your brother, Yawahala, once again. I uh, just want to do uh, a lesson on something that, you know, I saw and I was talking to some guys yesterday, right? I went in the area of um, Denham, Denham Town, Tivoli Garden, down that side, um, downtown, Kingston. And while I was down there, right, um, uh, there was a curfew in the area because I saw a lot of police and soldiers in the area. And I was asking as to why curfew was here. My mom would know, say, oh, the area get hot because like four men would have dropped out per day that's how it was killing was it was, it was like four a day or more and um on top of that i was like so if so much money did or all of that that means they have more women because i saw a lot of women in the area and i was seeing a lot more crowded areas where women than men and they're saying yeah you have a lot more women living here than men and this is what's happening in a lot of ghettos, right? Where you have some killing more than others, but prominently you have more women around than men. A lot more um, females from these areas, and we have a lot more of our people, all right, in these areas than, um, than in uptown areas, right? But before I go any further, I just want to let you know that, you know, we're, we're, we're Israelites, we're not Jamaicans. Right, where the lost people of Israel um, prophesied in, in, in um, Deuteronomy. They say we'll get, we're under the curses, we'll get um, sold in slavery, and cargo slave ship come over in, the Jama come over in Jamaica, the West Indians, and in the um, in, in the Americas. Right? We're, we're not Jamaicans, we're Israelites. Right? Um, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yehovah. The name of the Son is Yehovah Shai. I right? just want to get that clear. Understand me? So I'm um, back to this lesson where um like I said I was talking to the guys and they're saying a lot more of the females are located in these area. Alright, these same females and this is how the lifestyle of Jamaican women are today, right? Granted this is a beach event, but naturally this is how when I was there, this is how I saw a lot of women dress. You know, it's a um, booty shorts or just them bra alone or one like a, um, a little laundry type looking dress with them panty, barely covered. Or some tights, what well, 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 I show, some short tights, what well, I show the wall of them front and them behind exposed everything. And I was, I was like, one of my friend, one of the, not my friend, one of the guys were there and saying, hey, it would look no girl from around here, so from these area. I'm going to ask why. I must say, oh, because of them lifestyle, them lifestyle, and um, in my, uh, um, some of them make him know, sir, there's a lot of AIDS or STI prevalent in those women in those areas, right? And I was like, you serious? I was like, yeah, the woman here, them just dirty. Right, see, so said, so done. Me, me, um, we're there working on something, and we see one of the girl, one girl, I passed through a dirt truck, and she just start dig out the dirt out of the ground, and I eat the dirt, and she no look mad, she no look like she pregnant. Cause when women pregnant, them say she, them have cravings, or them eat certain things and all of that. But well, me, she never look like she have no belly or all of that. But me, I say, oh. These women in these area, the, the, their lifestyle, how them carry themselves, certain things, you have to question it, yo. You understand me? You have to question it. And it's true that these women these days, it, it, it's hard to want to, 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 to settle down with them or have any form of relationship or anything with them more than just having to have sex and you go. Or, you, you know, it's just a sick, it's just a thing for sex where you just get you get the box and then that's it. A lot of these women are not respected and looked on as to say you can start a life with. And those that you think that you can you can settle down with, they're, they're, they're not worth shit, 
right? Either them of the mother or them sister or them, f- them friends that influence them for the certain things, right? Say, so, oh, a situation where, where uh, a, uh, a sister will tell, uh, a sister will look on her, her, her younger sister and tell her, say, oh, look, the man, the way they would leave him, you get me, you have better men out there, you know? He ain't worth shit, you know? Him not, him not, not much for you. The guy will be there, there making a life for himself and make a life for, for, for the girl settle down with. And then by saying, look, she screw him over. You get me sleep with the next man or, or, or um, you know, put everything in front of them and, and just re- go, go rebellious, right? Get re- gone to rebel against a man. And that's, that's the lifestyle of these women today because you can't look to respect or even treat them as good as how you'd want to or as what the scripture will tell you to because these women, them, them, them far gone, right? More prominently, a lot of women, you have more women, you have some women that, you know, that, that follow the, 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 the order or will come under subjection, but you have more women out there than the minority will say, oh, look, them independent, them, 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 them free for do what they want to do, you can't say nothing to them, and that's how society portrays, yo. You get me? A lot of these same women don't have a father figure to grow them, to raise them, to show them, say, oh, certain things them can and can't do. Not just a mother, because the mother, them same women here grow up to become mothers and then, you know, the cycle goes on. You can't, you can't, you can't respect them, you can't talk to them, you can't deal with them a certain way because a lot of men um, walk over them and then when a man of a high stature or, 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 or a well-respected person come around, them, them, them behave like, dogs or they behave like 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 animals you understand me you can't reason with them you can't talk to them that them, them their mindset their mindset are is like so far gone and that's the thing with these women these days more because there's no man figure in their lives right and um we get to know the scriptures for, for, for more highlight that This is um as much as um we'll have the script here, but just rather read it from the apocrypha itself. So it's a um Ecclesiasticus forty two verse nine the father the father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth, and the care for her taketh away sleep because guess what. That's that's reality. You get me? How how a man will will care for him daughter and all of that. Sometimes you get up early in the morning if you get certain things over with or get certain things done for her. You understand? The scripture say, oh, it taketh away sleep. When she is young, last she passes, last she pass away the floor of her age, and being married, last she should be hated. In the virginity, in her virginity, last she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house because it's a shameful thing for a woman to get pregnant in her father's house it is right it's it's looked down upon in society and it's it's because it's a tradition it's a traditional thing where a woman would move out live with her man and then all of that happen not when a young teenager living with her father she breed in her father's house Right? And if I raise the baby and all that, and then by the time you, you look for the money, you can't find the man. And all of them things, it's, it starts in the home. You get me? It starts in the home. These, these men nowadays aren't men, yo. They, they, they're something else. And if you don't have a proper father figure to grow your child, I mean, the cycle goes on. You understand me? And these women aren't respected in, 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 in today's society because of how they carry themselves. And then the ones that think they're the shit or take 50 selfies and put up take naked pictures of themselves, of the, the breast, the ass, post it on social media and then turn around expecting men to treat them just the same or even better to treat them like princess or something. When them themselves are, 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 are um, 
putting themselves in certain situation where you have to question if I should really respect this person. I'm just sleep with five, six, seven guys and then me come around now and she she expect me to treat her like a queen. Like 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 my wife, like yeah, she's my first everything. Really? What happened to those other five to seven men? Why didn't they give you the time of day? Or because you think they, they didn't deserve you or something? Because you can go around and find the next guy to sleep with and he'll treat you better? Really? You don't treat yourself better, why should I? Why should men treat a woman better when they themselves don't treat themselves better? You get me? How them carry themselves today, how them deal with themselves and because they don't have a father figure in the home to look out for them, to look after them, to grow them in the way a woman should be grown, right? Not saying a father alone can raise a daughter, it takes two, but guess what? You need that, 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 that figure in the life to represent for them. If I meet a woman, if I meet, personally if I meet a woman and she, she, or her mom is there and she have a certain lifestyle or so, it, it make you think away, like it make you question certain things, you, you want to know the father, that you want to know what's happening in her life. You realize that, that a woman without a father is more broken in the society. The mothers go through some tra traumatic events, rape, um, 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 molested, or some, 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 some. Or them never go through proper schooling. Them have some um, depression problem. Them, them, them mentally unstable in a certain way. It's true. Check the statistics. But when a woman grows with her dad, she more have a good schooling. She more, she more, she can reason with. She have. A little more edge and when 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 they go for meet that girl like your ear say yo yeah the father want to meet you or something you more respect that woman you more have the woman in, in in good in good terms you want to look after you want to make sure everything all right because guess what you and the father make an agreement right the father want to make sure say yo you know screw her over you tend if you don't know check it you tend far more respect for that woman more than the woman without a father in her life not saying it's a some it's something that happens every time because you have you have instances where it it's the other way around. But guess what? It's more than the other when it comes on to um a father being in a woman's life, in her daughter's life, in 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 his daughter's life. Right? Let me finish this. Uh, and having a husband last she should misbehave herself and when she is and when she is married la she should be barren verse 11 keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter la she make thee a laughing stock in thine en to thine enemies right because it's true because by the time you look you talk to your daughter and all that and she not listen to you she dress how she want dress have her cleavage and her ass out and then by the time you look Every other man sleep with her, and then you look here, say she had, she had, she had the, 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 the tones match us. Everybody has sleep with her. By the time you look, she breathe, and then whatever the case may be, she, 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 she just put shame upon you. Whether it be the mother or the father, nobody can talk to her. And then when you look, these women, the same women, when they, when they go for telling about them daughter or something, them same one for cuss you out and tell you what, nothing, chip cloth and all of that, ready for defend. The, 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 them daughter who are the wickedness what will go on and do, do certain things where, 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 put, where, where everybody will look and, and shake them head though like really? yeah it's a um, and the byword of the city right everybody are talk about her everybody have something to say about her and a reproach among the people and make thee ashamed before the multitude behold not everybody's beauty behold not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of a woman midst of women so like, yeah. for for from garment cometh a moth and from women wickedness you get me which is true yo right let's say oh better is the churlishness of a man than the um Kurt than a courteous woman, a woman I say which bringeth shame and reproach. Because even so you'll have like me say a man will have a woman 
I'm by saying, look, she she want she want left him for better because she think that he um she deserves more. He's not he's not in her well, her best interests or whatever the case may be. Or others may look onto her and tell her give her story. Oh, he he's too he's too controlling. Oh, he 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 um she she she'll say oh, when she have things she want to it's not priority. But anything he wants to do, it's priority and. What she wants is put on the um the back burn or, or or not paid attention and her life is not moving anywhere and she needs better and most times when women get up and say these things or to do these things they end up screw themselves over even more you get me the Lord put that, put 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 um judgment on them for for stuff like that right trust me it's hard trust me it's hard to find a woman. In this day, it's hard to find a woman to say, "Oh, yeah, I'll settle along with her." A woman of 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 a good standing order, you get me? With little with little humbleness and wisdom. This is um. Put it up. Let me I can get it up again. Because this is in today's society, these are the women we have to deal with. On the image not loading. Yeah, image not load because cut off the internet. But the picture women they have up earlier, these are the women in society we have to mostly deal with. It's proud ass women, women thinking that they're the shit, that they're they're worth they're worth um much more than what you know you can give, right? But they think that they're worth a lot more than 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 even society portrays, which then themselves don't even respect themselves. Them don't carry themselves in good order. Them dress a certain way. Expect you're supposed to respect them. And tell them how them look beautiful and all of that. They take pictures of themselves half naked and put it up on, on, on the internet. And then look, turn around and look and expect you to respect them. And respect who they are and what they're doing. When you behave like a prostitute and carry yourself like a prostitute or a whore. What do you expect? You expect a, a man to treat you no less? When a man call you a bitch or a whore or whatever the case may be, you get offended. But yet still, that's the life you're portraying. That's what you're doing to yourself. Really? This is Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need of spoils. She will do him good and not evil all all the days of her life which is true a virtuous woman will do that yo trust for find for find something like that these days is 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 for is for go on river and dig and find gold hard rare it can't be done. It's, it's next to impossible not say it is impossible it's next to impossible yo hard something hard 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 forget to are fine. The Lord really have to work with her. The Lord have to send a woman like that for you, for you, for you, for you get it, yo. But not these women these days. You can't just get up and jump up and say, oh, man, look a girl and all that. Oh, bad juju. Mm -mm. Wasting your time, yo. Don't, don't, don't put any faith or hope in these women. Because these women aren't women these days. They're something else. Right? Scripture teach how a woman is supposed to carry herself. Teach how a woman should, should behave. So matter of fact, let me get it for the last scripture. This is Titus 2. I'm going to go on. Let's say how Titus 2 verse 1. But speak though in the things which become sound doctrine. All right, let me jump to verse 3. The age woman likewise, that they should be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accuser, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husband, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their husband, to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed, right? And that's true. That's how a woman should carry herself, from an aged woman to a young woman, right? But 
like I said, things like that are, are, are not common in today's society. You can't get up and just find that all of a sudden, right? Meet a woman and then they meet her family and her father be like, yo, you know, say, oh, you better treat my daughter, ray, 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 you know, how hard it is to bring her up and all that. And a certain fear come over, you say, yes, sir, you know, you, 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 you respect this man because of how he deal with you, right? And how this man um, want to deal with him daughter. You don't really find that these days. You don't really get that. So with that, I want to say, Yo, Kal, Kalal, Yehoah, Ba'ashem, Yehoah Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaal Kadash, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the brothers and the highways and byways, doing this work in all sincerity and in all honesty, to the sisters, the believers, the helps, Shalom.